Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, I share career tips, interview experiences, tech insights, and help you in your professional journey. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification for more valuable content. In today's video, I'll be sharing my interview experiences as an engineering intern uh, role uh, for a company called Titan, which is part of DirectEye. So through the entire process, the questions I faced and the strategies that helped me succeed, uh, let's dive right in. Uh, so about the role and application process, uh, let's start discussing about that. Uh, first, uh, let me give you a brief overview of the role the position for which the openings came uh, were for engineering intern position and it had you know multiple teams for devops back end front end ios and as such uh, i had applied for a position focusing on devops uh, or part of infrastructure team i came across this opportunity on linkedin uh, one of the recruiter had posted a google form link to apply uh, for uh, internship openings in the company uh, make sure to check these uh, platforms regularly for similar openings uh, the application process involved you know filling out the google form with the required application details like uh, resume projects experiences and the batch i was from like 2024 batch and after filling the application uh, i was just you know at that particular time randomly filling uh, many openings uh, was not aware like did i even fill about this because uh, after uh, uh, I think 15 or 20 days, I got call from the recruiter that and I got the call from the recruiter to had a discussion about the role and the compensation and my availability for the assessments. Uh, I made sure like my availability as soon as possible because uh, I was like actively looking for internships at that particular time in my seventh semester. Apart from that, the interview process was basically consisted of three rounds. We'll be discussing about the each and every round in detail. The first round was an online assessment. Uh, it included, you know, the questions from uh, basic uh, core subjects like CS fundamentals of CN, DBMS, a computer network operating system and Linux related questions. And the online assessment also had two DSA questions of medium level and the total uh, time for this round was around 1 hour 15 minutes uh, where we had where I had to solve MCQs I guess uh, in 15 to 20 minutes and the remaining time was given I dedicated for DSA questions. Uh, the DSA questions were like not too difficult I would say it. if you have done a very good amount of you know lead code medium level questions you would be able to solve. Uh, if you have done concepts from hashing, binary search trees and all those concepts, if you are aware of them, there would be straight away uh, implementation of these uh, data structures. Uh, so I, I would not complain anything about the time limit. It was sufficient enough to, you know, com uh, complete all the required questions and uh, round two consisted of uh, technical interview. So after my online assessment, uh, I think again after a week or so, I got a call from the recruiter that uh, my online assessment has been cleared and I'll be moving ahead with the next round, which is the technical round. Uh, it will be one of the team members uh, it will be taken from one of the team members uh, which is from the infrastructure team like it could be uh, any a DevOps engineer too or uh, someone from the team made sure my availability as soon as possible for the technical interview as well and coming to the second round which is the technical interview I was uh, introduced by one of their uh, member team member who was working as a DevOps engineer uh, he shared about the company and about the role and uh, what exactly they are working on and how exciting is it to be part of their team uh, so later on I gave my introduction and we started on with my projects I had my full stack projects related to Mern stack and uh, MongoDB related questions were asked related to my project and I also had my previous internship experience as a full stack developer so I made sure I briefly described my work what I have done in my internship and he also asked from there a few uh, questions on, on whatever the task I have done uh, so over there I had worked on AWS as well so he asked questions related to AWS resources and uh, basic questions uh, related to cloud uh, principles and then uh, he moved on to asking core dbms uh, questions where uh, he mostly focused on cs fundamental topics uh, but before moving to cs fundamental topics after discussion about my projects and internship uh, he gave me a basic or a easy level dsa questions which could be easily solved using hash table uh, he just wanted to test out my understanding about data structures like hash table we had a little discussion about hash table and it was straight implementation of hash table i just mentioned the pseudo code and i didn't have to like you know code it live but i mentioned my implementation algorithm and the pseudo code or the steps whatever which i'll be taking and then we moved on to core cs fundamental questions where he focused on uh, majorly uh, from the dbms operating system computer networks and linux basics uh, so in dbms he asked me about you know indexing what is primary index secondary index and uh, he we also discussed uh, about b plus trees why are they used and basic queries related to you know joins and all those parts from dbms 
and there were many more questions you know which uh, covered in our college curriculum or cs subjects so if you are aware with the uh, concepts of whatever the college uh, stuff we learn in cs subjects like dbms then it should be enough more than enough for you to clear these questions apart from that uh, also on os we discussed about virtual memory uh, processes uh, scheduling algorithms and paging related stuff uh, and uh, many more questions related to us again this also covered majorly concepts which are covered in our uh, engineering subjects and we moved on to cn so uh, in cn we discussed uh, ma- mainly about the dns part like how uh, how is an request solved uh, like when we uh, make a request how is it went to the router and the journey of entire or basically the dns resolution part if we search like www.google.com what all the steps happen from our machine to the a call which is made to google servers and what returns back and all that in depth uh, about computer networks and we moved on to you know ipv4 discussion ipv6 discussion and we also discussed about basic commands like ip config etc uh, like what does it does and what are the other basic commands in computer networks later on we moved on to linux uh, discussion like Uh, what are different distributions uh, which are like based on linux like there are there's ubuntu and centos and many other distributions and apart from that we discussed in linux specifically about file permissions shells uh, and a symbol or, or symbolic link in linux which is like very core feature or very critical part of linux and we also discussed about uh, standard streams processes threads and the discussion went uh, like for roughly more than an hour i could say like combining all the questions from cs fundamentals i was also asked questions about system design like what are master slave architectures and how do you uh, make sure that there is no uh, downtime or what is blue green deployment and all those kind of you know system design related concepts or basic high level questions we discussed a lot of things like scenario based like suppose there is a, a db which can go down so how can we uh, make sure that the db doesn't go down so we discussed about the master slave architecture and then again it was more of like a scenario based questions where he was giving me scenarios and i had to make uh, my solution like for this particular problem what we could do or how we can design the architecture so that there is no downtime or uh, how we can you know uh, build a system which is like which has like more reliability and so this discussion went on you know for more than an hour after a few days i got call from the recruiter stating that i have cleared the interview round as well and the main thing i would like to highlight here is that the recruiter was very supportive and they made sure that uh, they also provided you know the topics to refer so for technical interview they made sure that they shared me proper material like uh, what all the topics or concept i would need to go through like cs fundamentals for system design there was proper sufficient resources like system design primer i could follow and all those things so this helped me uh, so this helped me you know uh, plan my process and learn in very well manner and uh, so after few days i got the call from my recruiter stating that i have cleared the interview technical interview and i'll be moving ahead with the uh, managerial interview uh, so this is the third round so yeah uh, <clears throat> so third round was taken by the manager for whose team i was recruited for uh, so the managerial interview consisted of you know both behavioral questions and technical questions and they also discussed briefly about my previous internship experience uh, i briefly described my internship experience as well and uh, she she also asked me questions you know related to core dbms subjects like cn and, and she also gave me an implementation based question for which i had to uh, i had to tell my uh, a step by step pseudo code kind of way how go it all that question it was purely based on implementation based question where i'll be given set of ips and how i'll be uh, going through that uh, data and parsing it and producing a pr- proper required output so i could uh, use any python or any scripting language so this uh, interview went on for around you know for 45 to 50 minutes roughly we were you know all good to go because we already had lot of technical discussion in the technical interview uh, discussing about like what uh, helped me succeed i could say is like here are the few things the one of the thing is the preparation at you know coding prob- uh, problems on lead code and gigs for gigs consistently and so this made sure that i was in touch with dsa part as well this could be helpful you know for clearing out your online assessments again part is to make sure you do research about the company or the culture and the values and what kind of projects are building uh, just make sure you know uh, to go through the company's website and uh, get the overview so this will also shows your excitement and passionate about uh, work as well uh, so make sure that you go through the website and this will show that you are passionate about the work you want to do one more advice i would say is uh, to start early like build your resume and gain experience to projects and internships this could help you getting your resume sh- shortlisted or uh, very quickly and the second part is like practicing consistently 
which i already mentioned like this will boost your confidence as well uh, if you have consistently done coding and you are aware about and if you are comfortable giving interviews uh, that would be very helpful try to give mock interviews with your friends as well and be confident uh, like whatever you answer or uh, make sure that you are confidently answering it and uh, play step back if you are you know not aware of that particular answer and uh, don't try to you know bluff and uh, create some un unwanted you know uh, your own answers to those questions and this could you know basically make you uh, place in a very bad situation so talking about the conclusion that is it uh, for my engineering intern interview experience at titan so i hope you found this video helpful and inspiring if you have any of the questions uh, drop them in the comments and i'll be happy to help uh, don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such content thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye